Hey guys, um, so this video is sort of like a follow-up video from my previous one on the natural deodorant with the Schmitz line and this video is going to be a first impression of that natural deodorant and also why I choose to use organic slash vegan products on and in my body. So let's begin! I ordered two of their scents. They have five scents. Um, I ordered the bergamot and lime. I ordered the bergamot and lime, as you can see. And, and I ordered the lavender and sage. Yeah. So, I never tried them before. A YouTuber called... I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but her name was like Chi U Tips, Chai U Tips. Her link will be down in the description below, but she's the one who put me on this deodorant because I've never heard of it before. Um yeah. So I'm just gonna give you the quick rundown. She's the one who put me on it. Um it was twenty dollars and fifteen cents altogether when well, obviously, you'd be new to their site, but when you order off their site, you get a 10% off discount, and I happened to get that, and um, it was called I Like Smits, but when you order the, like, when you go to the website, it's going to give you a 10% discount regardless, I feel like, so you should go on there and order it. Yeah, I ordered it on Friday, and I'm uploading this on Thursday, but it came Wednesday. So pretty much I ordered it on Friday, I got an email saying that they shipped it on Monday, and then I got it Wednesday. So it's like two or three days that you get the deodorant. Um, I, oh yeah, just a little quick update. I applied it at 9.45 a.m. and it's 1.44 p.m. right now. And it's like, I noticed that the smell does like dissipate, like it like fades away like as like the day goes on but it does still last you like you won't be smelly or anything like you won't stink you'll just like smell like you I guess but a better you I don't know but yeah it's working so far and I will definitely give you guys a full updated review when I've used it for a few days to let my body get used to it um yeah now I'm using the lime one first and because this is like a fan favorite I feel like this is the number one that I've heard the most that people like and the, like the lavender is like the second one or whatever and then the Jupiter the clear wood and Jupiter one is the third because it's a unisex I don't know but yeah I'm trying the lime one first and okay so when I woke up like my armpits were like off the chain and so I put some white distilled vinegar on my armpits before I got in the shower and I let it sit on there for a little bit and then I was scrubbing and I shaved with a new razor with soap and um yeah I just wanted to make sure that like no like nothing interferes with this working I wanted to make sure that I can get my armpits as clean as possible so that I can really see if it works or not and I did that I still smell the um white distilled vinegar a little bit um even after I scrubbed like and washed it so much I still smelled it but it wasn't like really bad it was like faded like distant but yeah I applied that and guys let me just tell you that it did burn um it didn't like sting really bad but it burned a little bit but I think that's my fault I don't think it's because of the product because I'm not like allergic to or have a rash to baking soda and also their baking soda ingredient is aluminum free so that is also good um but yeah it did burn but I think it was my fault because I was trying to you know scrub everything so that nothing would interfere with this working on me so hopefully I'm in the 99.9% .9 of people that I work for and yeah I'm excited now getting into the smell Oh my gosh, it smells fresh and powerful. And when you first apply it, like underneath your arms, you can smell it really strong. And of course, a couple hours later, it's going to start to disappear, but you won't stink or nothing. But the smell that you really like will start to disappear a little bit. 
but it's cool as long as you don't smell it's fine like who cares and it comes each one comes with a little spatula and you just take a pea size amount whatever you take a pea size amount and then you um rub it with your fingers in between and it, it comes out like a paste like a white paste but I have hot skin kind of so like my hands like melted it very fast so I, I don't think it's gonna be an issue for me yeah you like you just apply it after you get it to a paste form and then you're gonna smell the scent really strong when you first apply it of course and it's gonna smell really really good so yeah it's just really nice and it feels kind of to me it goes on clear well for everyone but to me it felt a little bit grainy a little bit like it felt like there was like kind of like sand in it or something I don't know I mean it is a little bit sticky for me just I don't know why like things under my armpits always get like this kind of tack sticky feeling I don't know but it is working so far just to give you a little update from when I first applied it and I'm going to test it out and I will be doing a review soon on it so keep posted for that but yeah oh yeah one more big thing to address when I was doing my research um, and watching other people on YouTube like review this product a lot of people had a problem not all but most people had a problem with the application process which is it being very hands-on um, some people when you're in a rush in the morning people find it inconvenient because they don't have the time or the patience to be putting this cream deodorant on them in the morning and having to wash their hands I personally don't mind washing my hands after I put this on because it's like natural and like it doesn't smell bad or anything so but I don't mind um but I do kind of prefer it to be in a stick form and now Smith's I feel like you would get so much more money and so much more recognition um, if you put it in a stick form now you don't need to put it in the traditional plastic holder of deodorants but you can put it in like a glass one that's new and that's cute and fun and interesting and it's not that far from your concept I feel like you should put it in a glass form but like in a stick form and we can still recycle it and it still be useful so I just think that you guys should think about that because people are complaining about this application process and it's cutting away from the well I don't know that's cutting away from the prices because it does work that's the main goal but a lot of people are complaining about it I've noticed and it would be easier if it, if it was in a stick form then I bet you probably make a lot more money oh yeah and it costs nine dollars a jar and it's in a glass jar you guys okay that is pretty much my first impression of the Smith's natural deodorant now just real quick going into why I plan uh, why I plan on going vegan and using vegan and organic products in and on my body um I've been doing a lot of research as usual and I Okay, first and foremost, FYI, the people say that um, antiperspirants actually make you smell worse than what it is and what you smell like, so yeah, keep that in mind. And also, things have a lot of toxins, especially deodorants, and you applying them under your underarms is not good for any means. It gets in your bloodstream extremely fast. Um, your lymph nodes are right next to your armpits and that's what causes breast cancer because toxins get in there and affect the lymph nodes inside like um, and it's next to your breast tissue so like that's why that they say that it causes cancer and stuff even though everyone say that a lot of things cause cancer basically anything can kill us in this world but you kind of have a choice and a say so what will and what won't kill you I do not want to personally use toxins in my body anymore um because one the commercial deodorants don't even work for me so what's the point point? and second of all they're just really bad for you um I'm gonna be going to college the spring term for in January and I do plan on trying to go vegan but I love food too much so I don't know how that's gonna go but I am actually a firm believer in using organic products on your body um it's just better for you in the long run 
and it won't cause nerve damage like they're saying it causes or putting extra toxins in your body or causing cancer. I don't know. I just don't want to take that risk. I choose not to put toxins in my body anymore. So, yeah, that's just why I just want to try organic products on my body. At least if I don't eat vegan, I'm going to try vegan. But um yeah. That's just mainly what is going on. I just told you guys my first impression of this Mitz deo natural deodorant and why I choose to use organic products on my skin. Now I'm going to try to find an organic soap as well. Like I saw a vanilla scented one or a peppermint one. So I'm really excited about that and black soap. I plan on trying those as well. And there's even organic makeup. I don't know where you would find that, but I might look for that too. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I know it's on the long side. As always, I try to keep it short, but it never works. I just have a lot to say, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!